Here we have yet another MacBook Pro that came in for liquid damage. This one is model A2485. I believe a 2021 MacBook Pro. And we already have the motherboard out. I just finished working on a 2019 MacBook that I recorded a video on. I think this one will be posted right after the other MacBook that we worked on. So the other one was fixed. You may have already seen the video yesterday if I posted the other one before this one. But let's take a look at this one and see what's going on. Now, Big Boss already inspected the board visually and he pointed me to one area. This one is board number 820-02100-11. And where is that corroded? Oh, here, here, got it, right here. So he pointed me to this area and he said that's the only area on the board with liquid damage. Now we do not know if the keyboard itself is functional, if the touchpad is functional, if the screen is functional or whatever the case may be, but right now the laptop is not powering on and that's what we have. That's the only corrosion on the board. I did not do a visual inspection on the board yet. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. But just based on looking at the board with the naked eyes, I do not see any corrosion anywhere else. Look at the board, very clean. Very clean. Just quickly going over the board without wasting time. Viewers cannot see anything while moving the board, but you do not have to. We're just looking for corrosion and nothing else. So we do not see anything else wrong with the board. Only this one area with corrosion right here. And the first thing I want to do is reflow this area. We're going to apply some flux. And the reason we want to reflow is what if one of the components is coming off? Because of the corrosion buildup, the component can separate from the pad. So by applying hot air, we can reflow those components back. Solder will liquefy and make a connection again with the pads, components and the pads. And that way we can get rid of whatever corrosion we have here. So I did not do any measurements yet. We're gonna measure those caps, the ones that you see here. Maybe we have a short circuit. And we're gonna measure this cap. And we also have a cap on the left. This one had some corrosion on it, but where is it? Oh, here, right there. We're going to measure this one also, assuming this one is a cap. I cannot tell. Okay, so that's enough. Now we're going to use the amazing Northridge Fix brush. The brush is not too hard and not too soft. It's perfect for this job. And whatever tools we are using on the bench here, everything from Flux, Braidwick, hot air stations, soldering stations, thermal cameras, power supplies, we have it all on our website. Everything is in stock. 
unless the item is not in stock. Just log in, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Quick cleanup with the swab. And then this amazing brush. And look at the before and after. That's why I call it the amazing brush. We use Chemtech wipes, the brush, isopropyl, and the board will be better than factory. What more do you want? Let's go to diet mode on the multimeter and we're going to measure to ground any one of the caps. I believe those caps are connected in parallel. I did not look at any circuit diagrams or board view diagrams, but it's obvious. And we're going to measure here. Do we have a short circuit? And we do. Look at this. I knew it. I knew it. This does not look like a cap, more like an inductor. Uh, we do not have a short so we have a problem here if i am to guess i would start with the first two they look like they have the most damage on them but we're gonna have to try or we can inject voltage at any one of those caps and we can look at the board under a thermal camera and see which one gets hot but we really do not need to we do not have to go that route i'll just remove the caps one by one or we can use our atomizer, apply Rosen flux over, inject voltage, and see where Rosen disappears first. We can do that. And just like that. Fume extractor on. And now we're going to inject voltage at any one of the caps and see where the short is coming from. Now those atomizers we currently have out of stock, but we should have a shipment by probably next week. Just an amazing tool to apply Rosen flux, inject voltage and see which component is the problem. Assuming any one of the components that we have here is the problem. We only have corrosion on this area of the board. So why look elsewhere? And if we inject voltage right over here, what happens? It looks like flux melted on cap number one. You can see the discoloration. I only have about 1.2 volts. I'm injecting 1.2 volts if I go up higher. We're going to see a big difference, but right now I can already tell cap number one is sweating. We got it. We got the bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. We can use the help of hot air. out let's see do we still have a short if not then there's a very good chance that we fix the laptop yes yes we do not have a short not yes we have a short the short is gone wow awesome awesome that's amazing. Any short circuit on the board, it doesn't matter what that circuit is for, whether it's a keyboard backlight or whatever the case may be, is going to prevent the laptop 
from not powering on. Okay, I just realized I replaced the cap and I did not have the microphone on my ear. A customer came in, I took it off to speak to him. I came back, finished the video, replaced the cap, and I was talking to myself. So what does the backlight circuit have to do with laptop not powering on? We have a short circuit. It does not matter where we have that short circuit. Any short circuit anywhere on the board is gonna prevent the laptop from powering on. So we just replaced the cap. I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and hopefully it's a fix. I'll be back to finish the video. Big Boss is done with the reassembly of the laptop. We do not know the verdict yet. Yes, yes, battery logo is on and it looks like the battery is drained. We're gonna have to keep it plugged in, let it charge, and we'll test again, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. We did an amazing job. All right, five minutes later, the battery charged, and let me just hide the name. The laptop is on. I just wanted to finish the video with a working laptop. We have it, done, amazing.